Well, Danny, my girls are back in school. Yes, but there's so much to consider when it comes to their health. And I've got the six year old. She still pokes her nose, takes the wedgie out, d picks up stuff from the floor, all kinds of stuff. That's when we start thinking about germs. Well, here's Danny's interview with Dr. Pio Coley. Dr. Coley, it is back to school time, which means it's back to germ time. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, the kids are back in the classroom, and of course that means they're bringing home so many fun things with them, I'm sure. So what should parents be thinking about when it comes to getting the kids back in the classroom and thinking about those germs? Yeah, you know, Danny, I like to break down health, back to school health, in sort of three parameters. Mm -hmm. Our physical health, as you talked about the germs, our mental health, oh. and our emotional health. Yes. And I think in all of those three parameters, one of the most important things parents can do is educate Mm -hmm. educate their kids mm -hmm. and prevention. Those are the sort of two strategies that I think will work in all three of those parameters. Okay, I love that, I love that. Well, we can't really do much when the kids are in school, so is that going to help being able to kind of educate them uh, before they get into school? Well, you know, I think the nice thing this year as kids go back to school is that we now have vaccines available for yes. COVID mm -hmm. for every age group over the age of six months. Wow. So first and foremost, prevention, we want to get our kids vaccinated. We want to make sure that they're protected as they go back to school, especially in the background of the CDC now relaxing some of the guidelines for yeah. the COVID-19 pandemic. So any vaccines, not just COVID, that they might need, you want to get them up to date. Then you really want to educate them about good hand hygiene yes. and good hygiene <laughs> in general. Yeah. Because it's not just COVID, it's monkeypox, it's the flu, it's the cold viruses like rhinovirus and adenovirus, all of those that our kids are going to be dealing with right, this right. fall as they go back to school. And then I think we also forget sometimes that we want to think about things like healthy eating, mm -hmm. how to encourage nutrition, how to keep our kids active yes. as they're going to school so they're not spending as much time on the screens and really how to make sure that they're getting enough sleep, especially for you know some of our younger kids. Yeah, and I'm happy you brought that up because you know we were I was talking to Claudia this morning about what she wants for her little girls and I think a big thing for her was how do I get them back into that sleep routine and how much sleep do my girls need, especially coming out of summer? So what do you say? Yeah, it's kind of crazy because the data tells us that 60 to 70 percent of middle and high school students are not getting the recommended amount of sleep. Wow. And the numbers are astonishingly high even for adults. So I think the sleep routine that Claudia wants is actually a really good idea. So obviously you want to try to start that before school starts. Yes. Because otherwise you're doing damage control. Mm -hmm. And the way to do that is really to move up their bedtime by about 30 minutes for several weeks beforehand until you get them to the desired bedtime. Sure. And every child has a little bit of a different set point. Mm -hmm. But in general, if your child is under the age of 12, they probably need somewhere between nine to 12 hours of sleep. Whoa! And the 12 to 18 year olds need eight to 10 hours of sleep. Wow. So it's a lot more than we realize yeah. in terms of what's recommended by the American Academy of Pediatrics. So parents need to be attuned to that so that they can educate their kids about it. And the idea of getting them good sleep, Danny, is not just about you know having them feel better and good academic performance, mm -hmm. but it can actually impact their health, their growth in the long term, and their brain development. Wow, okay, so really preparing again before before we get back into that damage control aspect of it. I love that. Dr. Coley, thank you so much. Good advice. And if you have a topic or question for Dr. Coley, message us on our Facebook page, Colorado and Company Online News. Your topic may just end up on the show.